One of the benefits to creating forms is the ability to take forms that have location information and turn them into a map. In this biology class, I'm going to go to the Google Drive. There is a bird collection form that is intended to have students do a 30-minute observation to count birds and talk about the breeds of birds that they saw and what time of day they did their 30-minute observation. This was turned into a spreadsheet of information. This spreadsheet contains fake sample data. Every time you create a form, it gives a timestamp when that form was completed. In this form, I have a location, an address, a town, and a state and then information about the number of birds seen, the types of birds seen, and what time of day the observation was done and who did that observation. What we're going to do now is we're going to use Google My Maps to turn this into a map. I'm going to choose New, More, Google My Maps. Instead of searching for a location or adding a map marker, I'm going to choose the import option. I can upload a file from my computer or go to Google Drive. In my classroom, in my biology classroom, here is my biology bird data collection responses. I will select that file and it's going to give me the titles from row one. The first question asks us to select the address. It can be an actual address or a latitude-longitude pair. Where did you do the observation? That was the heading for the address, so we'll select that and continue. Next, we want to have a title for the markers. In this instance, I'm going to choose the student's name. And when I choose Finish, it turns that spreadsheet of data into map points. If I click this location, I can see the name of the student who submitted this data, the date and time that they submitted the information, where the observation was done, how many birds were seen, what breeds of birds were seen, and the time of the observation. So this is one way your students can collect data and map it and be able to see where the information came from. If I'd like to save this to distribute to the students, I can click on the word Untitled Map. Now I can share this map. So I'll go back to my classroom, to my biology classroom, and I might, instead of just having, here's the data we collected from the bird observations, I can add an announcement. And from my Google Drive, I have my bird observation map under Recent. If it's no longer on the Recent list, my Drive, Classroom, Biology, Bird Observation Map, Add. And if I ask, what did you notice, the students can reply with a comment to this announcement. When the student signs into their biology class, the announcement is at the top of the screen. And they can view that information. After viewing all the information, the student can write their comment. By giving the students the information in two different ways, you're providing the visual learners the ability to see the information in a map, and the students who are more mathematically or spreadsheet or text driven, they can see the information in a spreadsheet. Also keep in mind that forms do not necessarily need to be created by teachers. Students can create their own forms and send them out into the world where they can collect real data from other people and then use that data in their own Google My Map.